Hey, welcome to Sports Brunch. I'm Emily. I'm Maura. So Maura, who are your starters? Okay, so I'm going a lot with matchups this week. It, you know, it's hard this early on. You tend to go, oh, this team beat this team, or this team looked bad against this team, and then it doesn't stick because mm -hmm. it's it's the first few weeks anything can happen, like you said. Right. But I, I think there are a couple teams that perform so badly week one or so well week one that you can gauge a little bit. So I would go with basically the Dolphins lost 59 to 10 to the Ravens, which is almost unheard of in the NFL. I would say you can pretty much the Patriots rolling into town. You can start anybody on the Patriots. Yeah, I mean they they spread the ball out a, a bit, so the running backs are always a little bit tougher. Rex Burkhead actually got the most touches last week, so he might be a good start. Receiver wise, I think you're good with Gordon, Josh Gordon, and Julian Edelman. I would. Maybe avoid Antonio Brown until you figure out what they're doing there. He obviously has legal issues, but he is able to play this week. He just got to practice a couple days ago. Yeah, so, so they're still working on like getting him worked into the I mean, roster. Obviously he has upside, so if you want to do it, go ahead. But I would say it's risky at this point until we know how they're going to use him. Uh, Tom Brady definitely starred. He had like three touchdowns and 300 yards last week against the Steelers. So I can only imagine what he can do to the Dolphins at this point. Uh, another one that I really like, the Cowboys came out hot last week. Dak Prescott was literally perfect, like perfect, perfect QBR. Uh, he threw for 400 yards and four touchdowns. And that's with like Ezekiel Elliott, who normally kind of controls the game. So they are facing Washington this week, who did not fare well defensively against the Eagles. So I like that. And you can also probably start Michael Gallup and Amari Cooper. And of course, Ezekiel Elliott. Every week you should start Ezekiel Elliott in that. Um, also for the Bills, they are, uh, I like... John Brown, we we told him that you should, or told yeah, you that you should pick him up on the waiver wire this week. He had over a hundred yards on only like seven receptions last week, and he's facing the Giants this week, who another team that had bad defensive week. Some people are saying to start Bills quarterback Josh Allen. I'm not quite there yet, but he, I mean, he does have a defense that he's matching up against that isn't so great. And I also like Bills rookie Devin Singletary, the running back. Um, last week I was saying he's still kind of splitting carries with Frank Gore but it seemed like they're definitely trying to get him more involved in the passing game as well. So if you're in a PPR, I really like him. Cool. Uh, so question, I have Le'Veon Bell as my okay. number one running back. What do you think I should do? So uh, quarterback out with Mono, he's listed as questionable. He had an MRI on his shoulder uh, a couple days ago, I believe. Le'Veon Bell, yes, yes, but it came back Fine. clear. But he obviously something's bothering yeah, him a little. He says he's playing. No question, but I don't really have any great backups on my bench. I've got Jordan Howard, and I've got Rashad Penny, who's playing against the Steelers and probably not going to get me much. So do I risk it that he might not play at all and get a zero on that, or do I keep him in? And he's playing on Monday night, so if we find yeah. out Monday, I'm going to be kind of screwed. <laughs> I don't think there's any way he's not going to play from what I've read. I think you're good there. Um, you know, if you had... A stronger backup option yeah I would say you know maybe just because I am a little worried about Sam Darnold being out with mono mm -hmm. I think CJ Mosley the linebacker that they signed to like the biggest deal before Bobby Wagner got his he's hurt Quinn and Williams their first round draft pick is hurt yeah so there's a there's little a bit of concern there the but um, you know the Browns didn't get off to the greatest start either right. so they should be able to get something going and I just don't think that your backups are worth so, you know sometimes you yeah. have to take that risk it's you don't want to bench Le'Veon Bell and then realize that you shouldn't have because Rashad Penny is not going right. to outscore him no matter what okay. at this point you know maybe later in the season for the Seahawks Jordan Howard is uh, not getting that level of carries either so I, I would stick with what you have great who do you think we should sit this week Oh, so for sits, I was really bummed about this because I have Aaron Jones from the Packers and I, I really liked him. Uh, I recommended that you sit him last week against the Bears. They're starting off with two tough division battles. Mm -hmm. They're playing the Vikings this week and oh, I, yeah. I don't like that matchup either. Especially with, you know, them getting acclimated to a new coach in Matt LaFleur and their offense was off to a little bit of a slow start. So unfortunately, I'm going to say go ahead and bench Aaron Jones again. Um, another one that I'm not too high on this week is Devontae Freeman for the Falcons. Mm. They got off to a slow, it seems to be a yearly thing for them now. Mm. They got off to a slow offensive start as well. And then basically, uh, kind of like we were saying with the Dolphins, anyone on the Broncos this week I'm not really a big fan of because they're playing the Bears. Okay. Um, and they also got off to a pretty horrid start. Joe Flacco did not yeah, look he good. Did not look I, like it was hard to figure out whether the Raiders are better than we thought or the mm -hmm. Broncos are worse than we thought or a little bit of both. <laughs> a little bit of combination. It yeah. was an ugly showing for the Broncos yeah. last week. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Maura. Mm -hmm. Good luck in week two.